This episode of Plus Central's Panel of the People is brought to you by the Genius Society of Plus Central, spreading awareness of what makes us all unique and special, one story at a time. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Plus Central's Panel of the People. As always, I am your head moderator, Lauren Swirls, returning with my good friend, Ellie, to discuss the next topic of concern by our people. Today's main question to answer is, what are intellectual disabilities? This question is arguably one of the most frequently asked questions in our email box. To help us answer this interesting question, we have Buddy Bear and Angel White to Ellie's right, and to the far right, we have Hannah and Haley Francine. Two natives of Petunia's classroom who are new to Plush Central, but are not afraid of today's topic. It's certainly a topic that no one should be afraid of, Lauren. Intellectual disabilities could be used to do wonderful things. In a world where we're becoming more understanding of one another, it's important that people need to realize that all these kinds of disabilities can be seen rather than a blessing or than a curse. Disabilities come in all kinds of shapes and forms. It's important to realize that they can be used to accomplish wonderful things in life. It's all about what you have and how you use what you have, really. Those are all fantastic points, everyone. The main topic of our discussion today deals with identifying what types of these disabilities there are and what you all have to say about them. This topic has some great importance to helping Plush Central out with our political reform and increasing our diversity. It sure does, Ellie. I think the main type of intellectual disability we'll be discussing today is the one that we find most common here in Plush Central. I uh, don't have the proper name of it, but I hope someone else on this panel does today. Oh dear, I don't. It's okay, guys. I'm fully aware that I have a documented disability known as Asperger's Syndrome. Oh, so that's what it's called. I guess more than half of the plus central population has a confirmed documentation of this disability. That's the big topic of concern today, Haley. Identifying what exactly that type of disability is and how to become aware of what's around us. I mean, from what I've noticed by being around Hannah, she tends to always be using her hands. It can be sometimes difficult to point out the symptoms but some are easier than others. I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous being on TV. Not everybody gets to be on TV like this. It seems like you all feel as though having a disability is more of a blessing than a curse. Would you be able to elaborate on that? I think our viewers would want to know that the most. It's not easy to think of these things as a blessing, Ellie. The first step is becoming more aware that these kinds of things are around. I agree that recognizing the symptoms is a very important step. That leads to being understanding of one another as well. Everyone uses what they have differently. I want to use it to my full advantage and not let it drag me down. Having a routine reschedule is wonderful, a wonderful thing, for sure. People who have Asperger's, much like myself, are routine-oriented and can have a tough time adjusting to when things get out of the, that schedule. Like when someone cancels on our plans that we ha- we sometimes have a hard time figuring out what to do next. Or when you've been on a routine for years and then you graduate and then have no choice but develop a new routine. I think all of us here are trying to be work on being more de- independent. It's especially not easy for people with Asperger's to be independent, right Hannah? Absolutely! Sometimes we have no choice but to be independent. It seems like you guys know a lot about this disability. I'm wondering how your knowledge can span to other kinds as well. These kinds of disabilities are everywhere, even if we like it or not. Just because someone has a documented disability, it doesn't make them a bad person. People need to treat others with the same way they'd want to be treated as well. I go by this rule daily. Excuse me, but who are you and why are you interrupting our conversation? I guess this time anyone can come on set. Oh, this is a TV set? I'm sorry. I'll wait till you're done. We make all these commercials and posts about people not interrupting our show, and it still does nothing. I'm not sure what else we can do, Lauren. Not everyone in Press Central watches this show, guys. You have to be aware of that. Also, it can be hard to interrupt, especially when we prove good points on the show. Not everybody is aware of these things, especially those who have a hard time comprehending things. 
Maybe Catelyn has a disability and we just don't know it. Hmm, I didn't think about that. That's a good point. I think it's time for our PSA break. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. I need to get some of that pumpkin spice, Lauren. Hello there, everybody. I'm Wilbur, your host of Plus Central Survivor Cinema Showdown. I am very pleased to announce that we are renewing Plus Central Survivor, a series, very popular series on Plus Central Studios, for three seasons. That's right, not one, not two, but three seasons of Plus Central Survivor. The very last season we're saving for last for you, our fans of Plus Central Studios, to decide who our contestants are and who goes home and who wins the ultimate prize, which is also of your choice. If you really are invested in Plus Central Studio, you would definitely help us choose our contestants and how the whole entire game goes, and even what we do for challenges. So that is the last Plus Central Survivor series that we are doing. Please watch Plus Central Survivor Cinema Showdown. This is currently a quarter of the way done on only on Plus Central Studios. Hey there, everybody, it's me, Hammy, and Coyle and I have just finished filming the first ever Hemi Talks episode. <sighs> it was so much fun to do. It was so much fun to talk about the main topic and have everybody on the show collaborate and work together, just work in harmony. Couldn't have asked for a more perfect first episode to go by. But Hemi Talks has just begun. Guys, the show is still going on. It's just begun. The next, uh, guest on our show is somebody you are probably more than familiar with. However, he acts very differently here than the way you really see him. If you don't believe me, please check out the next episode of Hammy Talks coming in at the very end of July to celebrate the summertime. And I hope you guys continue to celebrate summer with us on Plus Central Studios. And please watch Hammy Talks only on Plus Central Studios. Say, did you bring the Petunia's coffee? No, I forgot! When you come back up, don't forget the Petunia's coffee! Welcome back to Plush Central's Panel of the People. We left off with our panelists discussing the symptoms of Hannah's disability and the importance of disability awareness before we got interrupted yet again. Maybe this show needs these, um, interruptions you speak of. They seem to fuel our discussion. They just show that other people have an interest in the show, that's all. Now we're getting off topic. How does that have anything to do with our discussion on intellectual disabilities and the awareness? I can see a resemblance, buddy. We can't label everybody who shows possible symptoms, though. Just because they show them doesn't mean they have a disability. That is a good point. We can't go around labeling people. The only way to truly know if they have it is if we get a diagnosis like I did. Today's discussion makes me open to realize that everyone is different regardless and it should be helpful, should help others be aware that we're different and that disabilities can be a blessing rather than a curse. Those are all very good points, everyone. I know I can say that I'm shy because I'm not good with people, but this show has really changed that. I'm sorry to bother you all again, but I'd like to say that I'm forming a new student-led club in Matinia's classroom where anybody can join and learn awareness of, and learn more about disability awareness. That's a good resource, but not the right time to advertise. It looks like we're out of time. Thank you all for tuning in to this very inspirational episode of Plus Central's Panel of the People. We'll be back next week, as always, with a new question of concern followed by a new set of panelists. Anybody want to go out for lunch? You read my mind.